So we're gonna do a quick video on um, trigger pull gauge weight testing um, on striker fire pistols. Um, this is a P10, a CZ P10. Um, it's factory, just brand new out of the box. You can kind of still see some of the oil on it. Um, you'll have to trust us that it's never been fired and that it's completely stock um, or completely factory. Um, so it has a factory striker spring, factory trigger, factory trigger bar, factory sear, um, and the entire striker assembly is completely stock. So um, let's put it in the vise and take some readings. Um, the first challenge you'll see is obviously the inner trigger safety. I'm um, trying to get that compressed and get a consistent reading is going to be kind of difficult. So um, let's go ahead and take like five readings and see what we get. Um, five pounds, 12 ounces. Um, and so part of the part of our trick is to keep the gauge rod kind of parallel to the slide and the comp, get the roller in the same position every time on the trigger, um, which is again kind of tricky. Five pounds, three ounces. Four pounds, 13 and a half ounces. Um, another thing is how quickly we pull back on it. Um, pulling back very quick can sometimes cause a low reading, going very slow can sometimes cause a higher reading. Um, and so what we try to do is go the same speed, whether it's fast or slow or somewhere in between, just try to go the same speed each time, at least then you have a relative order of magnitude between different, when you make changes, you'll know the order of magnitude of your change um, or kind of a scale of change. Um, so last one, so last one was four pounds, 10 ounces, um, and then we can average them. For an average, the factory average is five pounds, 1.6 ounces. Um, so the next one we're gonna look at is um, again a, another P10. Um, this one has a three pound HBI striker spring in it and an HBI trigger. This one's unfinished, so it's machined and not anodized or finished or anything. Um, it's kind of one of our test guns here in house. Um, so completely, completely, completely stock or factory. The only exception is the trigger and the striker spring. It's three pound striker spring, HBI, um, theta flat trigger. So let's put this one in the vise. Um, reset our gauge. The challenge again is going to be getting the inner trigger, the trigger safety compressed um, consistently and get the um, pole gauge to ride in the same spot on the trigger each time. So four pounds, three pounds, seven ounces, three pounds, nine ounces, um, and again, this is the three pound striker spring. Three pounds, three ounces. Three pounds, seven ounces. And do one more. Last one, three pounds and three ounces. So we'll average them for three pounds, 7.4 ounces. So just under three and a half pounds. And that's again with the three pound striker spring. Um, so let's clear our gauge, reset it. So million dollar question, why is a three pound striker spring rated at three pounds? Um, here's another P10, um, again, completely factory. The only change is three pound striker spring. Um, and this is an HBI flat trigger. Um, for this one, we're gonna use an insert. Um, this keeps our gauge centered and this is how we test um, all of our springs here in house. Um, so we'll use our little adapter block in place of the inner trigger safety. Um, try to show that on the camera. So in place of the inner trigger adapter block, um, kind of slide our adapter in there. So now our gauge has somewhere to sit and it'll rest there every single time. Um, again, no changes except for three pound striker and HBI, um, HBI trigger on it. Um, the striker assembly, is factory, no polishing. The sear is factory. The trigger bar is factory, um, no polishing. This is a very low round count gun. Um, less than 500 rounds have been fired. So let's reset our gauge and we'll hook in. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Two pounds, five ounces. 
two pounds, three ounces, two pounds, five ounces, two pounds, six ounces. Um, and so an important thing to note on um, this last test um, with the ability to hook the um, trigger pull gauge into the trigger every time, you can see the variation start to quickly close up. So um, let's hit our average. Um, average across those poles was two pounds and 6.2 ounces. Um, and so this is a spring we, weigh, we, we rate at three pounds. Um, and again, you can see that with our, with our gauge fixed, we get two and a half pounds with it floating on a uh, just off the shelf production gun without any type of fixture in it, you're at three and a half pounds. Um, and so that's where we get our, our three pound advertised weight from. Um, hope that helps. And yeah, if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks.